In 1964, a 10 board clock simultaneous was well played enough that Fisher included it in his famous book, My 60 Memorable Games. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video we are going to cover that same game which Fisher played in Davis, Davis is a city in California against Oyars Selle. Let's see what happened on the board. Fisher was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4 and Selle responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we have the Italian game, bishop c5 and b4, white goes for this hyper aggressive Evans gambit, bishop takes b4, c3, bishop e7. Another popular alternative is bishop a5 and after d4 the pawn on c3 finds itself pinned. But in our game after c3 we have bishop e7, d4 and a dubious response by black d6. Instead it was better to play knight a5, if knight takes e5 then knight takes c4 followed by d5. But in our game we have d6, here comes d takes e5, knight takes e5, in here we have the exchange of knights on e5 after which Fischer played queen h5 with a double attack, g6 and queen takes e5. Now the rook on h8 is hanging, black responded with knight f6 and a move which is simply demoralizing black's army, bishop a3. Rook f8, black is unpinning the knight in order to play knight g4. Here Fischer castled kingside after which we have knight g4, queen g3. Bishop takes a3, knight takes a3, it looks like that black managed to break the pin and is doing ok but as black moved his rook, black can never castle king side and this black king stuck in the center of the board will now become a target for white pieces. Queen e7, bishop b5 check, c6 and a powerful move by Fischer, knight c4. He goes for a peace sacrifice but in return is threatening knight d6 check. Here black played queen e6 but I have to tell you that according to Stockfish accepting the peace sacrifice is even better. Though in this case white is managing to get a ferocious attack. But in our game after knight c4 we have queen e6 which is even worse. Here comes rook d1 and Finally, Black accepted the peace sacrifice, but instead of announcing a check, this time Fischer played queen c7, took under control the essential squares, threatened checkmate in one, and also this knight d6 is coming, bishop d7, and there it goes, knight d6 check, king e7, and another brilliant move by Fischer. Can you find his next move? Ready? But did you pause the video? Well, look, in here the winning move is an absolutely staggering knight f5 check. Fischer goes for the second piece sacrifice and here is what he writes in his book. The attack needs fresh fuel. Material is not what counts now but open files. And by going for this peace sacrifice, Fisher is actually forcing Black to accept the sacrifice and he will now open up the e-file. In here king f6 can be met with rook d6, white is winning on the spot, that's why after knight f5 check we have g takes f5, e takes f5, Fischer opened up the e file and now his f rook will join the attack. Rook c8, instead of moving away his queen, black decided to counter attack white queen, but let's take a look at queen takes f5, then in this case queen d6 check is coming. If king d8 then simply queen takes f8 and if king e8 then rook e1 check is coming and a black king is getting checkmated. In our game after e takes f5 we have rook c8 and rook takes d7 check. Another brilliant sacrifice. This time we have an exchange sacrifice, right? Now if king f6 then simply f takes e6 followed by rook takes c7 the end game is an easy win for white. In our game we have queen takes d7 and in here the f-pawn joined the attack f6 check. Of course rook e1 check was also winning but it's not as precise as f6. Knight takes f6 and only now we have rook e1 check. Uh, the difference of playing rook e1 check and f6 is the following. For example after queen takes d7 if you play rook e1 check then Black can play knight e5 and after rook takes e5 check king f6, queen takes d7 is winning white rook but even in this case white is winning. That's why after queen takes d7 white is first luring away 
black knight is placing it on an awkward square and only then is playing rook one check. This is of course a precise continuation and we have a position where all black pieces are stepping on each other's toes. Knight e4, <laughs> it turns out that this is the only legal move in this position. Knight e4 and rook takes e4 check. King f6, queen takes d7, rook d8. And after queen g4, black resigned by playing queen g4, white took under control this d1 square and black resigned. In here, Fisher writes that I forgot Lasker's maxi, queen e7 check would have forced mate in 4. Yes, in this case, white is of course winning on the spot, but in our game we have queen g4 and a resignation. A brilliant and a very instructive game by Bobby Fischer with which he demonstrated how by going for several peace sacrifices you can launch a ferocious attack, how you can open up the files and target opponent's king. In the end, as usual, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.